Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Star and I am excited to announce that I am doing my first ever Stargazer sweepstakes. Yes, I am. Um, I will be giving away either College Football 25, Madden 25, or a $75 Visa gift card. But in order to have a chance uh, to put your name in the bucket to win one of those prizes, you do have to follow the rules that I have there listed on the right side of the screen. Um, please make sure you follow, follow all the rules to ensure that every single one of your entries is accounted for. Because the more entries you get, the bigger your chance is to win the prize. Has Deuce gotten run, I guess, with the ones? Or has he been mostly like with the twos and threes? And how is he looking out there? Is he actually running? I did know, I did hear that they are trying him at a wide receiver too. Yeah. Um, like, I guess they're trying to see if he can get like a dual role. You know, yeah. so what are you, what are you seeing from my guy Deuce out there? I, I will say right up front, every running back has had at least one rep with the ones. But I, okay. Deuce, Deuce Vaughn, it mainly has been sticking with that second and third team unit, working with Cooper Rush, working with Trey Lance. And I think that's more so just because when the preseason comes around, that's good. I think he's going to get a lot of burn. I think he's going to get a lot of burn in these nice. three games, mm. not only in the one game, but also in the return game. And you mentioned the receiving game. Yeah. Well. They're trying to motion him out on, on the outside, get him some love in the slot. It, it, the one thing that I, I hate about it, though, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, the first pass attempt that Cooper Rush tried to make to the squad, I believe mean, it was in yesterday's practice, was a ball. Thomas. So I, I uh, you and me and the PS Star were just talking about that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that that wasn't a Deuce problem, but um, I, nevertheless, I think they're going to continue trusting Deuce to go out there in the slot and maybe work some things I, with a guy like Deuce. You saw the big big playmaking ability at Kansas State. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You saw his ability to shed tacklers even. The contact balance at five yeah. foot five is mind-blowing. His shiftiness is world-class. You just got to get him the ball. And I think just getting him the ball in space will allow mm -hmm. him to be able to do what he does best. But I think he's going to have to build that confidence back up because it's been a year since he's made those big plays. And uh, yep. the, the, the one big play that I can remember off the top of my head that he made here in the preseason last year – was I believe in that Seattle game where he came up the middle and he shed a linebacker, yep. he spun off of him, was able to get into the end zone. I was mm -hmm. like, yes, if, if he can, if he can be that for the Dallas Cowboys team this year, and he doesn't have to be an RB one, he doesn't even have to be an RB two, but if he can mm -hmm. be a guy that can come in and be that big play gadget type, that player, spark, mm -hmm. absolutely, it, it could be a spark for this offense. And so, uh, Deuce Vaughn's a guy I have my eyes very closely uh, peeled on as as preseason starts to get warmed up and these mm -hmm. games start to pass by. I'm rooting for the kid. I, I feel like anybody right. would be such a good dude. Obviously a great story, and I would love to see him pan out. But um, yeah. I, I have to think with the way that running back room is set up and the competition that is in front of everybody in that room right now, if he doesn't take advantage of this opportunity, I don't feel like he'll have a better one. What would you say stock is highest or up in the running back room right now? Stock's low. <laughs> Very low for them in the running back room. That's that's a tough that's a tough one just because it's it's been tough to kind of gauge who's been up and down as up far as down. pads have come on only two days of pads so I, I won't necessarily be a guy that's down because really I don't have one I think they're all right, right here but I will say a guy that maybe has surprised me a little bit more I'm, I'm not buying stock or anything yet but a guy that is starting to catch my eye is uh, Nathaniel Pete the undrafted free agent out of Missouri. He's had a couple of big plays where he's he's been able to get in between the tackles and squeak out and make something happen of it. It's mm. funny when he squeaks out of the offensive line, you kind of see a small figure, and you're like, is that Deuce? And you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's he's, you know, five, eight, five, nine. he's got a little bit of a height on him. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's he's been a guy that's caught my eye on a couple of plays, nothing too crazy. But I think all in all, uh, these running backs just need to stack days, and they need mm. to yeah, well preseason Right, games. day in yeah. games. So you think yeah. – and that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a lot of these guys, because it seems like we're just moving a lot of pieces and we're interchanging a lot of pieces. But I feel like the coaches, do you feel like the coaches are going to be able to really start to pencil in, all right, you know, he's in, all this stuff, once right. these preseason stick games start to come come into play. Yeah. And, and I, then they'll start narrowing it down. 
For sure, and I think it's going to go right all the way up until that final preseason game, just like it did last year with the running back room, you know, trying to figure out what worked behind Tony Pollard. I mean, Hunter Lipke earned his spot in the very final preseason game last year, and, and Mike yeah. McCarthy right. didn't have a game That's like right. that. He wouldn't have stuck around. So <laughs> right. you know, I, I think it's going to be a very similar situation this year. It could be, who knows, it could be a guy like Snoop Connor having a big game uh, or a guy like uh, Malik Davis. I mean, he's I a guy that has Snoop Connor. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Wow. And Malik Davis is a guy I have a close eye on, too. I mean, he's a guy that if you're looking for a compliment to the bigger bell cow type running back that Ezekiel Elliott and Royce Freeman brings, I mean, look at Malik Davis. I mean, he was a guy that kind of waited behind Tony Pollard just because Tony Pollard yep. was talented, but that doesn't mean right. that Davis doesn't have playmaking ability in his own right. So mm -hmm. I, I'm very curious to see Davis get his reps in the preseason, too. I mean, there's a lot of guys. One of them are going to have to make a play, you would have to think, but – um, the big playmaking ability, I think that's going to be what I try to find the most out of that running back room because mm. I can't find it right now. Do yeah. you think if, say, none, no spark plug in the preseason, now God forbid, but just say hypothetically it happened and, and all these running backs, we was like, Ugh, do you think the Cowboys are going to go out and potentially make a trade or, you know, sign maybe one of these teams cut, cut a running back like the Jets? The Jets have been hogging running back. So maybe the Jets could have run it back or something like that. And we sign them. Do you think that that's, that's what they'll likely do? Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I, as, as Stephen Jones says, personnel is a 365 day a year job. Acquisition is 365 days a year. So I'm just going to have to fall back to that rhetoric. I think, I think if they're not comfortable or if anybody is not comfortable with uh, what they can get out of that running back room, I, I think they have an established guy that can be that short yardage back and that can be mm -hmm. that pass protector. They have that in Ezekiel Elliott, and if they don't feel like they have that there, then they have it in Royce Freeman. But they need that big playmaking guy, like I said. And if they don't feel like they have that going into the season, it would not surprise me if they go out and make a make a move to be able to get it and make it happen. Because the last time we saw a big skill position try to be a committee-type effort, it was a wide receiver situation back in, what was that, 19 or 20 when they got traded for Amari Cooper. And yeah, so yeah, 2018, it got to a point. Yeah, exactly. Eventually it got to a point where it was like, yeah, we got to make a move. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, then it's like, this is not going to work. Okay. The thing it, is, that is the Cowboys afford, way. Go ahead. They can't afford to wait as, wait, as, oh, wait as late as they did in that year to go get Amari Cooper when it was mm -hmm. before week five because you look at the front of that schedule – you need to win the time of possession battle in Cleveland. You need to do it week three against Baltimore. You need to do it week uh, eight against San Francisco. I mean, there's there's teams in there. You really need to wind down the clock and make sure the opposing defenses are staying on the field. I just don't know if they have that guy right now. He say that I'm good enough. Got him out there. I think about shit that I shouldn't. So I tell him it's one of me. He making fun of me. His girl is a bum to me. Like that boy is a cap. Saying he home, but I know where he at. Like, but he blowing her back. Think about me, cause he know that it's fat. Shake it down. And it been with it been. 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 Like that boy is a cap. Like that boy is a cat. Like that boy is a cat. Like that boy is a cat.